beauty of a show like this is that you see so many different approaches to storytelling, which is what we're really doing. These books are going into all the libraries. Not every book gets to go in all the libraries. And so these CSK books get to go in all the libraries, so all children all over the country get access to those books, and I think that's really important. It's children's literature, those were my first galleries, those pages. That's when I learned to love art, was looking at the watercolor sketches and the drawings that I saw in children's literature. For a hundred years after we leave this planet, there'll be a child that's picking up crown and saying, that's my story, or picking up, you know, stuff of stars and saying, oh, that's how I'm wonderfully made. I was very proud to do crown. I have a little boy. Um, uh, one of the things that the author Derek Barnes has said about that story is that, you know, he had hoped it would help to humanize little black boys. And I think that the great thing about that story is that, you know, it, it kind of happens to star a little black boy, but it could really be about anyone. Children deserve real artwork. Some of the books that I read when I was a kid were my first exposure to, like, academic drawing and painting, which is kind of that thing that I love doing. And so, like, I want to create those books that maybe some kid will be like, oh, I just want to paint for the sake of painting. I'd like to hear what their story is, what story they have drawn from the artwork. Looking at artwork is a very personal experience, it's very subjective. And I think that's why we can learn a lot about each other from looking at art and talking.